Good morning. So, today I'm making my white chocolate. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, so I'm just kind of, you can see I'm just kind of making a double boiler because I don't have one. I just have a cast iron pan filled up with water and a big bowl in there that this is a metal bowl. And I'm going to add in my cocoa butter, two cups of cocoa butter. And I'm just going to allow this to melt before I do anything else. And guys, this is this recipe you can find pretty much anywhere online. So this is a pretty standard recipe. But I'm just going to let this melt and do its thing while I get a couple other things ready. So we'll be right back when this is all melted. Okay. So that cocoa butter has now fully melted. I'm pretty sure you can see, yep, that the color has completely changed. I'm just going to add my coconut oil now. Now I am using unrefined coconut oil because I don't want that coconut flavor in here. I don't mind it, but I'd rather not have it if I don't have to. doesn't want to come off the spoon. There we go. You do want to be careful because this is hot. These are oils. <laughs> Essentially. Okay. So is this healthy? Nope. Do I care? Nope. Okay. So now we just got to let these both, like the coconut milk, coconut milk, coconut oil fully melt. And then I will bring you back for the next step and we'll be in a different spot at that point because we got to whisk the sugar and vanilla in. So we'll be back in a few moments. Okay, so the coconut oil is now melted and I'm just going to use my hand whisk. You can use an electric whisk if you like. It's just I don't feel like making another dish dirty because I only have the stand mixer. We're going to put in one cup of sugar. I'm actually a little shy on the sugar because I don't want all of that sugar added in there. So you guys stir that up really, really well. And this is powdered sugar as well. I'm going to write the recipe out down below that I'm using. I'm just going to add the vanilla. You need a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And you want to whisk this until everything is incorporated. So I'm not going to make you uh, sit here and watch that. So we'll be right back. Okay. So this is all very well incorporated now. I forgot I have an immersion blender. I pulled that out and used that. It worked great. Okay, so I'm going to pour half of it into this mold here, which isn't a mold. It's actually just a cake pan, but I'm going to pour half of it in here. Or about, give or take half. I'm going to cover this and quickly get it into the freezer so this can set. So, two seconds. Okay, and with this half, what I'm going to do is we have some candy canes down in our basement. So I just took a little tiny candy cane and grind it up. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to mix that up. Oh, that smells good. Now I'm going to pour this in this mold and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Quickly pour it in and then quickly get it into the freezer. Because you don't want those oils to split. Okay, so cover it up. And then into the freezer for an hour 
and I'll bring you guys back in about an hour or so. So, right back. Oh, <laughs> I'll kick you. Okay, so I just pulled this one out of the freezer. The other one's still in there. It can stay in there until I'm ready to deal with it. Now, I'm just going to try and peel this back because I guess when I popped it in the freezer, I shook it a little bit. So some of the chocolate got right into the plastic, but that's okay. I'm probably the only one that's going to eat this, so... Where is the start of the other one? Oh, I might have to bring you guys back in a minute where I where I can so I can oh wait hang on I can just do this. Boo. Oi. Okay, be right back. Okay, I didn't get all the plastic off. I don't know why I did that. I completely forgot. So I ran into this problem last time too. Use parchment paper, guys. So we're just going to cut this now. So this needs to stay in the fridge or the freezer. I leave it in the freezer. This isn't a chocolate that you can just leave sitting out, which is okay because it tastes good frozen. Okay. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Now this is just the plain one. This one doesn't have the little bits of candy cane in it. Either way, it's delicious. So, I'm just gonna cut this up mm, into pieces and pull off more of the cling wrap as I go and just put it into a container. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and lesson learned, don't do what I just did. Don't use plastic wrap, use parchment paper. I knew that too. <laughs> so, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Bye!